This is the 8th grade math practice test for TN Ready in 2019-2020 version of the test. This is question number 2. If you see this and it's a different number in the title, it means they changed the test number and I'm not reshooting it. A baby weighs 7 pounds at birth. The table shows the baby's weight after each month of birth up to the 6th month. So they work you through like at 4 months the baby weighs 11 pounds. Write an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b that can be show, used to show a linear relationship among the data. When you see linear, it essentially means that it's going to increase by the same amount every time. That's how you have a line. If it goes up by the same amount every time, you get a nice line. If it goes all over the place, you get this. Just That's what defines a linear relationship. So we need to figure out two things. Because, and I should say not because, but conveniently the slope-intercept form of the equation, which is what this is, gives us two key pieces of information. It gives us our b value, which is our starting point, In math, we refer to that as our y-intercept, but it's hard to see the graph, and I don't want it to be super confusing. And we have our m, which is our slope, and this measures the change. And in a linear equation, that change should be constant. It's the same change every time, even though the number itself doesn't change. So let's figure out what the change is. From here to here is plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Oh, I'm seeing a nice pattern here. The only thing that I should stop and check, even though I think this is going to be what my slope slash change value is, is just to make sure that over here they didn't do anything weird. If this went from 2 to 4, then the real difference between these things would be uh, the change of 1 over here and then the change of 2 over there, so the slope would be different. But they look like they're going up by 1 every time, so we're safe. But it's always good to check because those sneaks who make this test love to do little things like that for no good reason other than just because. Now, we know what the change is. It's plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this, keep my y value, and then 1. You plus 1, whatever you want. You can do the fancier 1, which is what I usually do. Then I keep my x. The reason that I keep my y and x is because I can use the equation to find new values. If I find my equation correctly, I input 4 for x, so it's like 1 times 4 plus whatever b is, and we'll talk about that in a second. It will give me 11. But if I wanted to find out what the, how much the baby would weigh if, they, if it gained a pound when it was 13 months, I could substitute in 13 here times 1 plus whatever the b value is. Now, our starting point, on a graph, the starting point would be, they define it as right here. So wherever it is on the y-axis. It's not really a starting point. It's simply a uh, point of reference that we can use. But in real life, things actually have starting points. There's no negative. We don't measure baby weight um, all that much before birth. So, And this doesn't cover that anyway. So our starting point is at zero months, which should be super easy to find. There it is. So my starting point, I don't know why that went away, is plus Seven. Why wouldn't it be at 1? Because that means something has already happened. In order for there to be something occurring, you can't start at 1 because something has already occurred. So our starting point is when nothing has happened yet, and we aren't measuring it. So we just start out here. That's why b is our starting point. Or if we were doing a graph, it would be our y-intercept. So for our y-intercept on the graph, we go up to where plus 7 is, and then we'd make a straight line. But this wouldn't exist because... We're not measuring the baby before he or she is born. There we go. Now, what do I do with that information? I just write it in the box. Super complicated, right? Y equals, uh, and do you have to put the 1? No. If we just have an X, we can assume that it's 1X. But for our sake, I'll just put the 1 there, plus 7. And that's really all you need to do. It's not that pressing to do anything outside of the norm here in order to make it look fancy or anything else. If you don't want to put the one there, don't put the one there. But remember, when you work these up, you need to figure out what the change part is, and that's where the M goes, and then what the starting point is, which should be when nothing else has happened. 
one last point to make. You do have to have it in this form. If you come down here and put 1-7, no one will have a clue what you were talking about. You have to answer questions that you're being asked. It's kind of like if you ask someone what their birthday was and they told you they were born in 2004. Well, that's not what you ask. It's, it might be true, but it does not matter. Answer the question they have. If they want the form like this, make sure your answer is in that form. Otherwise, you lose points for it and you went through all this work for absolutely nothing.